All right, guys, so I thought I'd show you the walleye rig that I use for bottom bouncing. Um, actually, this rod is a uh, Bass Pro Shops rod, um, but I like the uh, seven foot six length. Uh, it's 12 to 20 pound, moderate action. Um, you can go a hair lighter if you want, like a 10 to 17, um, but it just has a nice backbone to it and then a real soft tip. Um, but allows you to pull that uh, bottom bouncing weight. And then I have a uh, Shimano Cardiff 100. Um, but any bait caster, um, you know, for bass fishing or whatever, freshwater bait caster will work just fine. Um, then I got it spooled with a 50 pound braid. And then um, the uh, back bouncing rig, um, the one I have tied up, so two ounce. And then I have it to about a. Uh, Oh, two and a half foot leader uh, with a um, slow death hook. Show you that here. But yeah, basically it's a slow death rig that I made with a uh, kind of a holographic smile blade, orange bead, and glow in the dark stacker beads. Um, you can you know buy these things pre-made or make up your own. This just happens to be one I made up. Uh, the reason you want this slow death hook is when you put the worm on it, um, it's going to cause that worm to rotate and uh, you're going to troll it, you know, 0.8 miles per hour, somewhere in there like 0.7 to 1 miles per hour. Just depends what the fish want. Um, and I'll show you how to set it up real quick, or at least put a worm on it. And so basically you're going to need a worm threader and a worm. You get yourself a nice night crawler. I go a little less than half the crawler like so and then what I do is I take it put it in so there's a little bit of the tail kind of hanging off the end and you just thread that right like so and you take the uh, tip of the hook put it in give it a little tension and then just slide that worm right on there and it's ready for business and then again I usually start trolling right about 0.8 miles per hour and uh, you know hopefully we'll get some walleye but that's the rig I use hope that helps anybody that's uh, new to get into walleye fishing all right we're we're at uh, Banks Lake and we're bottom bouncing for walleye we got three rods working some homemade uh, worm harness rigs uh, with beads and small blades and uh, we just got started so hopefully we'll uh, get into some fish shortly we're going about 0.8 miles per hour all right we got one hopefully it's a walleye but we'll see did it give up fighting no nope. it's a walleye nice give me the net it's a walleye Boom. Ha ha! Good job. Got him. First walleye of the trip. Alright guys, so uh, real quick, going to show you how I clean the walleye. And uh, it's pretty simple. We're going to use the uh, Rapala. We're going to use the Rapala electric fillet knife. Um, I always like to just go up the vent. So, just like that, and then what we can do. Oops, kind of lost that. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, so that is one filet. Now I'm going to show you guys a little trick. It's been a while since I've caught a walleye, but you go right here. Make a little cut. And of course, don't drop the filet. But start peeling it down like that. Boneless. And you get those pin bones right out. So it makes a thinner piece, but those are two boneless pieces of walleye. So if you didn't know that trick, now you do. Now we'll do this other side. from this side first but I kind of goof that up it's just harder to grab the little piece all right just like that the walleye is clean ready for the fish fry all right guys so I made it back to the house I was gonna do this cook and catch at the lake but it was just too smoky so got the walleye fillets here got a little bit of egg wash gonna go ahead and drop those fillets in nice and boneless the only way to go get them in there and just plate it over to the side but yeah I'm just keeping it simple today uh, just doing egg wash and then uh, got the uh, progresso garlic and herb breadcrumbs put some of those on a plate now we're gonna just fry them up in some straight butter. So I'll just uh, take these fillets out of the egg wash. Coat them real good in the breadcrumbs. Put a little more out right here. If you guys haven't had walleye, it is so delicious. I say get out there and catch them because it is one of the best eating freshwater fish in my opinion. I don't know, but you can make a good argument with crappie, yellow perch um, as well. So anyway, we'll be right back and we'll fry these up. All right, got a couple pads of salted butter there. We put a little bit of olive oil in there so the butter doesn't burn. All right, we got that butter nice and melted with a little olive oil. Time to put our pieces of fish in. Mm. 
All right, in a few minutes we'll be eating some delicious lunch. All right, it's probably time to flip these. This little fish batch is awesome. I think I got it at Ikea for like three bucks. But, uh, all right, we're getting close. We are getting close. All right, and just like that, we're done, ready to eat. Um, just got a little store-bought tartar sauce, beaver brand. Um, here's that walleye. Look how nice and flaky that is. We're gonna give it a shot. Mmm. So good. A little tartar sauce there. It doesn't even really need the tartar sauce though. But if you like it, you do you. Add some lemon, whatever you like. Mmm. That's good stuff. Hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for me. And as always, guys, tight lines.